779. Let's fucking go. Okay, so in the placeholder image generation function section, we have our square gradient helper function. We have a coordinate somewhere within this square block of pixels, and we want to figure out what grayscale color we have uh, within the region. So right down here, if we go down to this section, we've written the algorithm now. So square gradient math here, SGM here. We have a whole bunch of variables here. I don't have time to fucking read these for you. So you can pause here to read these. I'm going to move on now. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to get a percentage 0 to 1 on the x and y axis for the current pixel within the region. So we have the x, y coordinate over the magnitude of the area, minus 1, to get the percentage. We're going to multiply that percentage by 2. So now we have 0 to 2 inclusive for a percentage. We're going to minus 1 from that percentage to get negative 1 to positive 1 for our percentage. Then we're going to absolute value both of those percentages. And then we're going to figure out which wall we are closest to by taking the absolute value of... Sorry, not the absolute value, the maximum. We're going to take the maximum of the x and y to figure out if we're closest to uh, the vertical wall of our graphic or the horizontal wall of our graphic. And this will get us a gradient. I think it will get us a gradient that is going to be white around the edges and black in the center. And once we have this maximum, this is going to be multiplied by 255 floating point to get float32 luminosity. We're then going to use function math.floor on it to get our output cubebot luminosity. This is the luminosity for the byte that we're going to pack into our texture to create a black and white uh, graphic on one of the color channels. So we're throwing it out right here. Output cute luminosity. That's all we did. Just square gradient. So if you want a longer explanation, Ninja Coder playlist. Ninja playlist. Uh, you have been on Kanji playlist, source code. That's not source code. That's technical demos. Source code is right here and then ways of getting a hold of me. Like and subscribe. My name is Kanji Coder. I'm making a game engine from complete scratch. It's called Atomic Ivy MMO. I'm open sourcing the code and I'm documenting every single fucking line of code that is not a joke. So like, subscribe, and follow if you want to see how to make a game engine.